So good morning, everybody. I am Dr. Danushka Pereira uh, from Ministry of Health, Sri Lanka. Uh, my study is about the evaluation of the pharmaceutical supply chain process in the area of Regional Director of Health Services, Puttalam, during 2018. So when I'm going, uh, I'm when I'm going to my introduction part of the study, uh, since a fair pro proportion of health budget is invested in pharmaceuticals, realistic estimates, and rational use of drug is very important for a country like Sri Lanka. An evaluation was carried out to assess the effectiveness of the process of pharmaceutical supply chain in the area of RDHS Puttalam during the year 2018. Mm -hmm. That means Regional Director of Health Services Puttalam. So it is a descriptive study using both quantitative and qualitative methods and primarily consists of a distribution of available data, the questionnaire survey, key informed interviews and focus group discussions. There are 110 participants of the officers responsible for pharmaceutical supply chain management uh, in the uh, area of Regional Director of Health Services Puttalam in the different institutions, including the RDHS office. So uh, according to that, the majority of the officers responsible for pharmaceutical supply chain management that is by, by percentage, it is 86% nearly, had not undergone any trainings related to the, their subject as in-service trainings. So 56% of institutions, the, where the officers are working, the 56% of institutions had conducted only one drug review committee meeting during year 2018. The majority of members, that means the participants, the majority of participants, 58% nearly, they are the drug review committee members. So they had inadequate knowledge of on pharmaceutical supply chain management. Only 18 institutions within the district had sent estimations before due date of previous year. So the non-availability, the excess and the quality failures and spoiled drugs, they, they were the major problems in every institution that found out, found out the unsatisfactory capacity and the basic facilities in the drug stores, inadequate documentation and register maintenance and lack of regular supervision of te or test checks were major barriers for successful supply chain management. So it concluded the education and training on pharmaceutical supply chain management should be done on regular basis with special emphasis on annual drug estimation, storing, transport, and minimized wastage. And documents and guidelines on drug management should be introduced with a good monitoring and evaluation framework. So pharmaceutical management should be undertaken as major priority area in the Regional Director of Health Services to improve the process of pharmaceutical supply chain management in future. Thank you. 